Okay, so the, the missing piece is to secure the function app. And uh, by doing that, we have to work with uh, API management. And uh, I already have uh, configured this in a different resource group, but I will show you how I did it. And uh, to do that, you just need to go inside API management and click this APIs and uh, import uh, the function app. Go down, let's search this uh, function app, this one. And in here, you have an option to browse your uh, different uh, function apps. Just browse and this is the function app that I have created in my demo. I only have this one API call with different uh, HTTP methods inside. So let's just select this and uh, let's add a uh, um, let's add a suffix API. <clears throat> Create. Okay, so all of the, let me just decrease the size of this. Okay. So to, to secure this endpoint or this API calls, we have to, uh, to add uh, policies here. And mo the most common one is, uh, of course, the uh, uh, course policy. Uh, let's just add that. Um, for the sake of this demo, we, I will, will just we will just accept everything. So uh, let's put let's select this put delete uh, patch. And then uh, let's add uh, no origins header. Let's add this expose header this is just for demo purposes so <laughs> then save okay so next we need to add uh, the uh, uh the policy for validating JV, uh, J, uh, jw token and you can just click that you, you can just click this box here you need to um, add this authorization, okay, an authorize and message should be, uh, yeah. Then um, open ID URL, uh, you will, uh, you will uh, get uh, the value for this one inside Entra and uh, I will do that uh, later. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I need to save this first and let's go back to this one. Okay, as I have mentioned, we need to go to the Entra where we register an app or our application. Go to this app registrations. But then there's this endpoint here where you can get all the uh, necessary information or yeah, endpoints different endpoints that you can use. You can use this uh, this metadata document, just copy that and go back to that APIM. And uh, yeah, so instead of just rewrite, rewriting that again, I will just uh, um, use this existing APIM um with the, the same configuration so let's open that and uh check uh, the policies that i've added earlier so and um let's close this and if we go to this policy let me just decrease the size okay So this is the generated uh, um, tags for course, and this is the 
uh, policy for um, for validating the uh, the access token that will be uh, that will be sent here. So in order for us to validate if this uh, uh, session validation is working, let's try to call this um, API, this uh, get all items. And uh, this should not be, this should not, uh, this should throw an error or exception. Um. Come on. Okay. That was long, so. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I will really. Uh, I will receive this because there's there's no authentication. Uh, there's no access token that I am sending. So uh, let's open the uh, the existing project. Um, let's just run this, and you serve and get, and we will get the access token, the required access token for the API. This will be the last part of uh, this demo. And uh, yeah, so let's try to run this. Okay, and I am already logged in, I believe. Okay, so let's just open this uh, network to get the session. And uh, let's copy the bearer token here. It should have the bearer token headers and uh, here. Let me just copy this and add it here. Headers, authorization. Where's that authorization and send. This should return the value or the, the data from the Cosmos DB. This uh, information is the same as what we are uh, seeing here. And yeah, so if you have an invalid token, the API will not work or it will not be uh, executed, something like this. So um, I think uh, I'm done with the demo and I uh, thank you for watching and I hope this helps.